してるより愛してる。So, look at that. Yesterday I was getting 40 miles per gallon. So sweet! <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Ma Terry here from Ohio Pennsylvania border. Can't wait to get back to California. But、uh, amazingly, I chose a RAV4 as my、uh, car to run around out here. And it's getting 40 miles per gallon, and I like it. And this is the car that Pam on the Lamb YouTube channel she used to drive around in, and、uh, I was impressed by it. So let's have a look around this car and see how practical it is for living in a van. All right. So we will be turning on the dash in a minute, and I like it. If you're used to Toyotas, this everything's in the same thing, and I'm going to pick out two things I don't love about it. Okay, but. Right here, down here, we have a little. I guess it's supposed to be a storage area, but if you're storing stuff here, how are you going to get to the 12 volt and the 110? So, you know, I guess maybe you can just put coins right there. There's a little thing for coins.、Uh, it does have eco, normal, and sport, and I've been driving around in eco, and it has just enough horsepower. I'm happy with it. It has enough get up and go. Now then, it does have this nice little compartment right here, and it is small compared to my Toyota Sienna. But we have another uh, uh, USB port center in here. In fact, we have two of them, so you can keep a few things in here, like your passport for the national parks and some stamps, some little things. It does have two cup holders. My Toyota Sienna has a cup holder here, but that says passenger airbag. So let's see how this would work. As a little、um, car apartment. Now the Rav4 is bigger than the Prius, which is a hybrid, but it's smaller than the Toyota Sienna. So if there was someone out there that just wanted to do camping, you can set this up permanently. Go camping in and get 40 miles per gallon.、Uh, Ma Terry has too many craft supplies. So. On the driver's door, they do have a little bit of storage here, which is nice. And I always keep my bug spray and my suntan lotion there, and one sun hat, a pop-up sun hat. All right. So, on the passenger side, this is an airbag here. You only get one thing for storage, and that's not too big.、Uh, my Toyota Sienna has much better、uh, storage, and the Prius sometimes it has an upper storage and a lower storage, so that's not a lot. Let's check it out for some other things. Of course, it has a little sunglass holder up there, and when I turn it on, you'll see how nice that screen is. That's wonderful. All right, so I didn't even bother taking off that、uh, headrest right there. This is as far back as it leads, so you cannot lower this down and make it into a bed. That's out of the question right now.、Um, if you want to sleep in that awkward position, that's great.、Uh, Maybe good for someone like me too, but、uh, no. Yeah, this isn't too comfortable right here. Let's see what else we can do with it. Okay, I'm going to bring the seat forward again. All right. To be honest, I can't get this seat to fold flat. That's a bunch of crap. But even I can see, like, even if it folds flat, it's going to be right here. So that's not helpful at all. So this seat would definitely have to get yanked out. Definitely. So we are coming in on the passenger side in the rear, and we're going to imagine that seat's gone right there. What Pam on the Lamb did was she made that area, put in all sorts of cabinetry over here, and this area she turned into a bed. So I'm going to check it out. All right, we're in the trunk. Love it, love it, love it. Yes, those seats will probably definitely fold flat. I can definitely see cabinetry all the way over there. I think we got a winner right here. Yes! All righty. So that's the back area, and believe it or not, I absolutely love it. But we're going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what's wrong about that in a minute and how to fix it. But what we have is the seat does not fold down flat. So again, even if you build up something here, you're going to be sleeping at an angle. Now, can this part of the seat be taken out? Of course it can. You just need、uh, someone strong enough to get it out of there. Does it automatically come out? I don't know.、Um, it looks like it's bolted in there pretty good, right? So I don't think these seats actually come out. They're not a stow and go. Definitely not. 
they have to be taken out by someone that knows how to take out the Prius, uh, the RAV4 seat. But I don't think it would be a problem. Um, I think the hybrid batteries are either here. Uh, I already uh, unscrewed it. They're going to be a little upset at the rental car company, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think the batteries are back here. And this has a nice little thing right there. So, yes, if you get the seat taken out, you definitely can put a board there. And that would be nice. Um, I'm five foot eight. I know I have no would have no problem sleeping here. So the design idea is working. Put the cabinets on one side. You can put it on either side. I would put the cabinets on that side because for stealth camping, what I would do is there would be my driver's seat and I would just jump into the back. Um, yeah, and I'm sure I don't wouldn't even need the board to go all the way up. Um, but I'm pretty flexible, so I would have no problem jumping in the back. All right, so let's put this back and we're not gonna tell anybody about, oopsie. All right, now I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about the RAV4. Let's go for it. This is the one defect, but I'm gonna tell you how you can fix it if you wanna build this out. All right, so see this little hatch down here? Well, let's say you build all this area out. There's your cabinetry right there and you can cook right there. It would be really, really good, but someone hits you you're in a car accident and of course this is your home on wheels and everything what do we have down here we have the spare tire and jack so once you build out your cabinetry how are you going to get to your spare tire and jack if you have you know a flat tire or whatever what you can do is you can get one of those little racks and i believe they make it for uh cars like this and you can put your spare tire over here you can have an extra container of gas over there but that's going to be additional cost i don't know if you all remember but the rav4 used to have the spare tire rack back here which made it wonderful uh-uh all right so i'm going to talk a little bit more you can see how crappy this is with foam. That's what they did with my Prius. It was just crap down there. So what you have is you have an even storage. That's what you have down here. Uh, maybe store some extra rolls of toilet paper in, in, in case we go back to the way things used to be. Um, and if I was mechanically inclined or we're building cabinets, you can actually uh, use this as the template right but instead of it opening at the halfway point here you can make one like if your cabinets are going over here you can make it to where it opens over here so you only have the storage and you can get underneath the storage over there um, and that's not that hard to do um, but I just don't have the tools to do it and I would definitely use this is a nice amount of area for storage like I said the hard part is the uh, bottom isn't flush, you know, so it's a little lumpy, or at least it was in my Prius, and it looks a little lumpy down there too. Last but not least, you don't have a lot of wheel estate on top, but you can get a 100 watt solar panel and it lie it flush on top. You know, I had to have a mechanic do that. And you know, with a 100 watt of solar, you can have a really, really nice refrigerator going in there. All right. So the biggest benefit of the RAV4 hybrid, you want the hybrid, is that it gets 40 miles per gallon average highway city, doesn't matter. And you can put it in ready mode. What is ready mode? Okay, when it's muggy out here, and you can't do this in stealth camp, but I'm gonna reassure you. But ready mode means the engine is turned off, but you can run the air conditioner or heater while you're sleeping in here or during the day. It sips very little gas. I've had uh, readers report maybe a half a gallon of gas at night to be in air conditioning luxury cons. Uh, you know what I mean. Anyhow, it's a lot cheaper than paying for this motel room over here. So there's a huge benefit of having the ready mode. Like I said, you can't do it while you're stealth camping, and here is why. Um, your hybrid batteries on the back and this is an average um, so the engines off and every 20 to 40 minutes those batteries go down and what it has to do it's going to automatically start the engine for you it's going to recharge those batteries and it only takes a couple of minutes for it to do that 
But the problem is, is, you know, if I was stealth camping in between apartment complexes and my car automatically turned on and somebody walked past it, uh, yeah, there would be reports on that one. Um, there are ways to lock the vehicle. You know, it has a little spare key so you can lock the vehicle from the inside so it's not a problem. Overall, um, you got to do some work if you want to turn this into a nice little camper van and without tearing out a seat or two I have no idea how you're going to sleep flat unless you're about three foot tall but there's ample ample room so this can be your hotel on wheels uh, definitely check out Pam on the Lamb uh, her older videos with the RAV4 in it you can cook in there I believe uh, in her RAV4 the hybrid battery was big enough to use an induction stove so you don't even even have to uh, uh, carry butane or anything and induction is uh, all electric cooking and it's kind of nice it really is so uh, do check out Pam on the lamb overall like I said you gotta work for it you know but this would be a sweet little camper van all right goodbye from Mount Terry and I will see you down the road oopsie one more thing that I want to talk about is uh, the reason why I really like the uh, RAV4 for stealth camping is it's bigger than a Prius, but at the beach cities, sometimes it's really hard to uh, find a parking space for a full-size van or sometimes my little Sienna, but I always see spaces for something like this. So it's compact enough that you really shouldn't have any trouble finding a stealth camping space. So there you go.